All right, today we're going to be doing uh, a guide for Maelstrom Arena. Maelstrom Arena. Maelstrom Arena is where you go to get best in slot back bar weapons traditionally. Right now, really hot items in here are the Maelstrom Staff. Pretty much every mage tune uses it. Um, and uh, what else? The Oh, the Maelstrom Two-Handed Weapon. Uh, really popular for Stam tunes right now. You, you combine that with Stampede, big damage, really effective, really effective. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Maelstromina, it's, you know, your first time through here, you can totally farm the items on normal. That's not a big deal. The normal items in here are 99% as good as the veteran items. They're just, you know, it's, they're almost better only in name in some cases, especially with the mag variants. So, you know. It's uh, it's something you can do on normal. Anytime you're after 160, you can come in here, get your Maelstrom Arena weapon. The new loot system makes it much easier to get the thing you're looking for than it used to be. I spent a year farming for my back bar weapon in here, not only to find that it, I didn't get it, right? But then the new loot system, I went in day one, got it, right? So new loot system makes it nicer than it used to be. Uh, so let's go. I'm gonna go over all the mechanics for each arena, how they work. Um, hopefully some best practices for, uh, you know, taking down the various bosses in here. What I like to do at least, uh, perhaps not the best, but the way I approach it. Yeah, let's go. Could you explain the new loot system? The new loot system is the boss will always drop something that you don't have yet in your collection. You have a collection right here, set items, right? And you can see, right? And so when you kill a boss, he will drop one of these gray items if it's in his loot table, right? Always. They will not drop something you already have if they can help it. And weapons, weapons only, weapons typically only drop from the final boss, weapons and jewelry. So those are usually the things you're missing uh, from any set. If we go to dungeons, what am I missing in the dungeons? A weapon, right? This one, it's weapons, right? It's always gonna be weapons because you can get all the other pieces of gear from every boss in the dungeon. So that's how it works. It's always gonna drop the thing that you don't have if it can drop something you don't have. That's the new loot system. They're curated loot. It's awesome. Makes farming gear a hundred times easier. Okay, Maelstrom Marina. Oh shit, don't go in. Let's make sure. The first thing you wanna do before you go in is make sure you change the difficulty to what you want it to be. Do you want it to be normal or veteran? You do that in the group menu, right? So you come here. If you want normal, click normal, then go in. If you want veteran, click veteran, then go in. Okay. Hey, what's up, Mr. Uh, Claren? Back at you. Back at you. Um, the way this works is there's going to be nine arenas. It's nine, I believe, right? I think it's nine arenas. And you kill a few waves of trash. They spawn. You wait for them. Then there's a boss. And you kill that. And a portal opens up and you go to arena two. Same thing. Bunch of trash waves. Kill the boss. Then arena three and so on. You're going to pick up a quest here at the beginning. Make sure you do that. There's a wave shrine that for some reason doesn't work. I don't know why it's there. And I don't know why it doesn't work. But, you know, they just, it's like they put it there and then forgot to activate it. Um, we've got this person here is going to give us a quest. So we'll hang out here for a second. If you get a chest and find a weapon that you don't have, bind it. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure you bind items. Make sure you bind items as you get them because that prevents you from getting them again. So hopefully you can fill out that collection. Okay, so we picked up the quest. We'll verify our difficulty. If you press M, you can see the difficulty right here. Maelstrom Marina Veteran. So if you're ever not sure which difficulty you're in, just open the map and it always tells you right there. What's, that, what's CP for vet? You could start trying as early as 300. There's no reason to come into vet until it's easy though, because realistically you're gonna have to you're gonna have to beat it a lot of times to get the weapon you want, right? Because it's RNG based. So don't come in here beating your head against the wall for a vet weapon when the vet weapon is literally one percent better than the normal weapon. You come in here to get the vet weapon to flex on your friends, not because it's gonna do significant enhancements to your build. Uh, so get the normal one first, and then when this place is easy, come back and get the vet weapon. Yeah. Let's go, gamers. Yeah, let's go. All right, so. More so Maelstrom Marina. 
This first arena is pretty simple, straightforward. Things are going to spawn. We're going to kill them. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, where's my caltrops? I'm doing this on a melee tune, which means I'm going to be doing a lot of running. So we've got stampede. We'll be doing a lot of stampeding is what we'll be doing here. There's not much strategy to these guys. Just kind of kill them as they spawn. You know, don't stand in this red if you can help it. And uh, the faster you kill the waves, the faster you can get this place done. three uh does anyone know off the top of their head how many rounds are in each arena it's been a minute since i've been in here is it five i wanted to say five it's a nice round number uh oh the sigils in here Feel free to use these sigils. Every round, the sigils respawn. Use them. Use them, especially if it's your first time in here. The only reason you wouldn't use sigils is if you're score pushing. If you're trying to leaderboard push or something like that. You're not doing that. Especially not your first 20 times, right? So, use um, use the sigils. Use them you know, anytime you feel like it. Oh, I need to eat? I had to eat food, apparently. All right, that boss, um, there's two mechanics for that boss. One, there's a little thing on the floor that follows you around. Don't stand in that like I did. I set a bad example there, but we've got a Chad build, right? So. We just tanked it. We face tanked the boss. That's how I like to build my builds. I like to face tank bosses, right? So we stood there and beat on him until he died. He teleports away. Just charge at him. There'll be an ad there. If you've got decent cleat damage, the ad will die. If your damage is a little low, focus the ad down so that you don't have two things beating on you at once. Um, yeah, the boss will teleport once in a while. When he does, go to him, kill him. Um, this is probably the easiest arena. It's the first one, makes sense. So there's not a lot of mechanics going on that you need to really concern yourself with. Um, oh, there's merchants between um, there's merchants between fights, between rounds. So make sure you visit that merchant and repair every few arenas because it's really easy to have one of your items break in here. Uh, since you're tanking everything that spawns, uh, you'll find that uh, your gear breaks in here, actually. <laughs> it's very common for gear to break, you know, halfway through. And there's nothing worse than being on the boss fight with a piece of broken gear, too. So, let's talk to the merchant afterwards. These guys, they do that one heavy attack. Feel free to block cast that. So block and use your ability at the same time. Just to make sure it doesn't get you, knock you back. Um, these spinning blades put a bleed on you if they hit you. So you'd want to try to avoid them if you can. If they hit you, no big deal, but then make sure you throw a heal on yourself or a shield because there's going to be a stacking bleed dot. The longer you're in it, the more stacks of that bleed dot you get, the more it hurts. So spend as little time, and that's for the whole game. If you see those spinning blades, they will always hurt when they hit you and put a bleed dot on you everywhere in the game that you see them. I'll stand in that one. See, look at my bleeding. Yeah. 
You can use these levers to stop the blades. Um, I guess I'll save that for the boss. You can do it a few times. It resets, but... When the boss spawns, we'll do it. The boss is going to be three big boys. And you kind of have to whittle them down one at a time. They become invulnerable. You cannot have a companion in any solo arenas now. It'd be cool if there was like a duo arena added to the game, you know? Two man, so you could go in with a friend or your companion. Here's the final round. So we're going to get three of these guys. <clears throat> and they go like that. Do you do, they're kind of annoying because this is what they do. The real boss is the blade spinning around the room. They're the thing that gets you in here. We can pop this switch. The blades stop moving, right? It's nice. But now they're moving again. So that doesn't last terribly long time. If you can, you can kind of get them to stack so that you can just start laying dots down. And then when one goes down, you know, um, the other one will come up in the dots so you don't have to reapply them because that's kind of hard on your sustain constantly reapplying these. So it is kind of nice. Get them all stacked here, you know. Now we just kind of well on them. Yep, and that's all there is to that one. The blades are the hard part. That's it. Uh, here's the NPC. And talk to him. And we're gonna repair. And just hit R. The repair menu comes up. You're good to go. Mm -mm -mm. Arenas are meant to be done solo. Yeah, uh, there are four man arenas, but there's two solo arenas. This one in Vodatron Hollows. Then there's two four man arenas um, Black Rose Prison and Dragon Star Arena. In this one, there's little uh, plants that spawn. There's little plants that spawn in this one, and they slow you. So anytime those plants spawn, you want to kill them because um, the more they're, the longer they're alive, the more they're slowing you. It's like a stacking slow. It's not good for you. Um, the water will occasionally be uh, electrocuted, so you want to try not to stand in the water most of the time. I'm getting spit on. You see, I'm going really slow. It's this dude right here. So we'll kill. Him. Yeah. If you're ranged, they die really fast. Just. Pew them, you know, a couple spammables and it'll be dead. A lot of tag and a spammable. There he is. Killed him. So, no slow from him. Just kind of keep an eye on him. They're kind of the X factor in here. Everything else is kind of as you'd expect it to be. There is one trash mob that can hit kind of hard. I'll point it out when it spawns. Uh, these guys with the two-handed weapons. Yeah, they can be annoying. We're going to kill this strangler. How much crit do I have? Not much. 
not much. Leaning away from crit now. Let's see, what does it say? 39% chance of crit. Sam getting to use Stampede and having it be effective. Oh, one of the best changes. This guy is, uh, you know, it hits pretty hard, but it's the lightning here that'll get you. This boss over here, just sitting there casting lightning and stuff on you, being annoying. She'll be down here. We'll kill her in a moment. Hey, speak of the devil. Uh, I'm being slowed. I'm going to go kill that and then kill the boss because, you know, dangerous. Why not? We'll pump our ult down. Get our dots on her. Bottles her down. Pretty straightforward boss. You may have to focus down ads if your DPS is a little lower because they'll start piling up on you. But that's about all there is there. Brawler, it's carved now. But yeah, yeah, carve is where it's at, man. I'm not even using Brawler. All right. Second boss, second arena down. Easy enough so far. Uh, people don't usually start to struggle until, let's say, the Ice Arena. That's a really common place for people to struggle. Oh my god, same DK, yeah! Ah, uh, the animation looks similar, yeah, yeah. You crit too much? Nah. Yeah. It's all about choosing the right combinations of gear. Okay. Nice one, yeah. So we'll talk about ice. Uh, this is the exclamation point solo stam DK. Exclamation point solo stam DK if you want to check it out. Uh, these guys do a little spinning attack. It's probably safest to block cast it. Kill these guys before they get to their spot. They'll post up. They'll start shooting up some lightning at you. So if you can kill them before they become invulnerable, it's better. If they do happen to make it there and become invulnerable, it's not the end of the world. They don't hurt that much. Um, and you can kill them when they become vulnerable again. Block cast that if you can, if you end up in it. Or just roll out of it or move out of it. Not a big deal. See here, this one's invulnerable. Made it. No big deal. It's going to shoot some lightning like that. It's easy to avoid. Watch out for this guy. You know, forecast. Try not to be in him. And if you're in a block. Kill it. There's one over here as well. Kill it. There we go. Get that one before he becomes invulnerable on this there. I'm going to throw my consuming trap on a guy and get my stamina back. He's a beefy boy, this guy here. So if you've got some debuffs, throw them on him. He's definitely worth it. Everything else in here dies pretty fast, so. But get your major breach on him. All right, final boss. This final boss is, well, you kind of just sit there and parse on him. I mean, get your sticky dots on him for sure because he moves at first. And then he's eventually going to plant. When he plants, that's when you want to ult. If you've got like a stationary ult, you know. It's coming here in a second. So we're going to drop the ult. When he ults, you don't want to stand under him, probably, because it hurts, right? 
I don't care about that. I'm going to kill him. Um, so when he's moving, stay close. When he stops, get away from that boss because he shoots fire down under him. And uh, if your build isn't built for that, that fire will hurt a lot. So you want to back up and start ranging him down a little bit until that phase ends and then get close to him again. Uh, kill adds if you're going really slow. Don't let them pile up on you too much. But that's the gist of him. And, you know, if you want, go ahead and repair again. Yeah, okay, this is the ice arena. This is the one where people get stuck. This is the first place you struggle in here, and you really struggle. Uh, if you got here and you struggled and you, and you didn't come back, you're not alone. A lot of people do that. The tricky thing about this place is the trolls. The trolls spawn right in the middle. They always spawn in the same spot, right, right there in the middle. So as long as you're always watching the middle, when the troll spawns, kill it. And then that's one major problem. The troll will spawn and he'll bash the three platforms that you have. He'll bash one of them and destroy it, leaving you with two platforms and then one and then zero. And when you run out of platforms, you're going to be in this water, which hurts and it hurts a lot. Okay. So you don't want to stand in there. So you want your pads and it also summons uh, a mob. Yeah. Do you have a VOD for this part? I'm making the VOD right now, actually. This is going on YouTube. So, here we go. There's the first troll, right? We see him, we kill him. It's gonna be, when they do forecasted stuff like that, block it, you know? Don't let him knock you back. And then if you can help it, always be facing the middle in here. That's what's gonna, that's what's gonna protect you from your own, uh, self right because these guys will spawn you want to see them when they spawn and they die real fast fortunately you can bash them when they start slamming the ground or you can um or you can just uh kill them if you feel like you've got the damage to kill it before they break the ice um maybe i'll let this guy kill one ice here just so you can see what happens what you're trying to avoid so we'll let this guy destroy that ice over there okay don't recommend doing this. Okay, so he destroyed it. So that ice is gone. That's one less platform, right? He's going to go try to destroy the next one. He spawns one of these girls who's actually kind of annoying. I'm going to bash him to stop him from destroying this one. Okay. No problem. Good. Now, that, are, that one will respawn. We'll get that pad back here after this round. So, it's okay. It's okay that it's gone. All right. So, here, another one spawned. We're going to kill him, right? We're not letting them lose any more of these pads for us. We don't want to lose those. This guy looks like he's going to be a smart ass and stand over there. That's okay. <laughs> Just dot him down. Come here, boy. There it is. Yeah. And we'll get our, uh, will we get a pad back? Yeah, there it is. I was like, is it not coming back? What the heck? Okay, so we have all three pads again. Okay, these ice guys, um, they hit hard. Do not stand in that forecast. That will hurt. Okay. Again, try to face the middle so that you see the trolls when they spawn. Basically, the trolls are just waiting for you to be occupied with something else, and then they'll spawn, right? So here he goes. There we go. And the thing that's dangerous in here. Oh, and one really important thing to remember. If you're in here and you're struggling. Okay. If you're in here and struggling. Use this sigil right here, dude. You're probably dying because the ranged people are attacking you. Right? Use that sigil. It reflects the damage back at the ranged people. So not only do you not take damage from the ranged guys anymore, but it's reflecting it back at them. It's massive, massive. And it respawns every every time you beat the round. So, you know, use it liberally. Get in there on those sigils if you're struggling in here. And, and use them. Okay, this guy's trying to be smart. Get him out of there. Okay. 
This guy does a, see how three waves came out of him? Those hurt a lot, actually. Let's so try not to get hit by those waves. Like, it's always a fork of three waves that come out of that giant when he does that ground slam. There it is. Almost got hit by it ourselves. Okay, so the final boss in here is like a big giant. Hmm? I want resources back, so I'm just going to do my consuming trap on him before I kill him. Okay, so here's the boss. He's... Every time he gets to 25% uh, intervals, he's going to break the ice he's standing on. So 75%. So make sure you get away from him, right? Get him to 75% and run. Okay, we're running. We're running. You still have to kill these guys when they spawn. So make sure you do that. Boom, he broke the ice. So he's freeing the lady, right? So this is the hard part about this fight. One, you stand near him when he breaks the ice and you die. Or a troll spawns while you're dealing with him. And you die. <laughs> and he, you know, he hits hard. The ads will pile up. Okay. You can use these sigils. Watch this. Okay. So I use that sigil. Now's a good time to ult on this last hurrah here, right? But you'll see I'm not really taking damage, right? I got that sigil. Oops. We ate that. And then just kill him. So a good way to do this is get him there, right? Get him there on that pad, then come to this pad. There's a shield sigil, grab that shield sigil. If you're struggling here, don't get it right away. Get him down to 50, 75% uh, here. Then get him down to 50% on this pad. Then in the last 50%, come here, grab the shield sigil, grab the weapon sigil right here, right? So now you're mega defensed and you're doing mega damage and then beat the boss's ass on this pad right here. All right? And that is how you can take him down your first time if you're struggling very easily. Okay. And, or if you're coming in here for the 30th time and you don't want to struggle anymore, <laughs> he can be in trouble. He can be trouble for anybody. Stam DK looks fun to play. It is. Stam DK's in a really good spot right now. This build is super fun. Solo Stam DK. Yeah, I've watched, I've never watched your stream for more than a half hour, and I'm here for almost three hours. You're amazing. Hey, thanks, Adax. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, so, same thing here. We're in the next arena. This one is kind of tricky, actually. So, you get these guys spawning, these horvers. You want to kill them next to the webbed pillars, right? See how when it was webbed, when it exploded, it's not. So, this one has no web. This one has a web. Okay, that's going to be important. One, because it lights up. A random unwebbed pillar will light up throughout this fight. And you're going to want to always know where that is. Because um, these little red spiders will spawn. Okay. You can control where that Horver goes by just giving him a little love tap. And he'll follow you if he's not already. There's the red spiders, right? They will, they are invulnerable to damage, but if you stand in the light, they can't hit you and then they'll eventually give up. Okay. Now, when you reveal all of the pillars, everything in the room will be stunned for a long, long time. I mean, a long time. So you've got two options. One, you can just free them all as many times as you want throughout this arena, right? And hope and hope that you get one. Uh, hope that you free it again when you're on the last boss of the arena. I'm gonna save this last pillar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this pillar for when the boss spawns. In the meantime, these web spinners are gonna spawn. It's gonna try to reweb this pillar. And if you don't kill it fast enough, it will reweb it, right? Working against you. I'm gonna let it do it. Stand in the light here. All right. And then I'm going to I'm going to love tap this guy. Come here. He'll leave if you don't get him, by the way. You can you can absolutely miss, miss the opportunity. Uh you know what? Actually, he didn't end up freeing it. 
Oh, he's freeing this one. Oh, he's trying to web this one out. Okay. Um, they will leave those little guys, the horrors that you need to pop. They will just run right by and then burrow into the ground again. If this lands on the floor, you can pick it up and throw it, right? That's going to be important for the last boss as well as these pillars. So you can throw that glob and free the pillar. Um, or you can throw that glob and um, debuff the final boss. The final, the final boss in here gets stacks. And, uh, and the stacks are very dangerous. And if you, let, if you let her get too many stacks, she'll just one-shot you. So if it's a long fight for you, make sure you debuff her the final boss by killing one of these horrors and then chucking this glob at her, right? Otherwise, you'll notice the final boss hits you really hard towards the end of the fight. And if you didn't know why, that's why. She's getting stacks of, uh, like, enrage. The glob uh, removes them from her. We'll go back to killing the waves. Uh... Generally, the bigger the mob in here, the scarier it is, the harder it hits. There's the red spiders. We go to the light. The light will sometimes move on you. Hey, thank you for the prime, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, this guy looks kind of special because he is. He hits hard. He can be a problem for you. That lining will hurt a lot. It can kill you. Don't stand in there. We got another web spinner spawn. Okay. So here's this big boy, right? Again, he's big, so you want to ma make sure you get your major breach on these big guys so they take as much damage as possible. We got a Horver. We've got the red spiders. And then we've also got this guy here spawning. So it can feel a little bit of chaotic in here for you, your first time. You know, there's a lot going on all the time. <laughs> you will probably make a mistake. Don't worry about it. Web spinner nearby. There it is. This is another big boy. He hits hard, man. He's got that big two-handed weapon. He's got that swing right there. See my life? So make sure you block it, or better yet, probably dodge roll that. Whoa. Afternoon. Hey, Lord. Reaper. Afternoon. There's those red spiders. And we're getting close to the final boss, right? So I've saved one pillar for the final boss. I want to stun her when she spawns, right? Whoa! <laughs> Dude. I thought I was far enough away, but I wasn't. I should have just dodged rolled, played it safe. In what, if you don't think he can hit you, he probably can, you know? So be safe. Hey, Josh, thanks for the sub, man. All right. Is the final boss spawning? It is. So I'm going to throw this right there. Boom, she spawned. Look, she's not even fighting back. Parse. Big parse now. This is your chance, man. This is your chance to abuse her. So take advantage of it. She didn't even get one attack off. Good. Uh, if the fight drags on, if you don't have the damage to kill her in the, in the period of time that she is stunned... That's okay. Put as much damage as, you're, uh, as you can on her. Get away, right? Get away and um, put some damage on her and then look for a Horver, right? And then throw the glob on the on her every, eh, you know, every once in a long while. She'll start hitting really hard. She'll do a light attack on you or something. It'll hurt. That's because she's getting enraged stacks. You need to get rid of those with those little globs, okay? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so that's... Uh, what arena is this? Three, four, five? Five? No. Six? Okay. This arena is the bane of everyone's existence. This is... Uh, hey, what's up, Letter Keys? Glad you like it, man. Uh, this is where people struggle the most. I would say this is the poison arena. The reason this one sucks, right, is because it's RNG. Your, your fate is semi-decided by RNG in here. 
This one will prevent no death runs. This one, there is, there's little plants that spawn. And if you walk near them, they'll poison you. That poison will take you down so fast and kill you. Right? If, but, but you do have a way to survive. So if you happen to get poisoned, it's not the end of the world. Yes. Yes. It's very, it's very oh, close yeah. to the end of the world. Right? It's very close to the end of the world, but it's not. You can come to this pool right here on this side of the room and cleanse yourself if it's glowing green. And same thing on the other side. See how it's green right now? If I get poisoned by this, it's going to start hurting. See my life? Whoa. It's hurting a Happy lot, Saturday, right? Happy Saturday, everyone. Oops. Uh, I demonstrated for too long. Okay, it was hurting a lot. <laughs> you want to go in uh, into this poison pool, and it will cleanse you. Make sure you're fast, because like I just showed you, it's really, really fast. Uh, hey, thank you, CalMav, for the prime in four months, man. <laughs> okay so that's what the plants do that's how fast they kill you you can cleanse in here if you get it just make sure you go fast because you will die fast okay you still suck you're still stuck on this one okay well i'll show you how i approach this one there's little dudes that will spawn in two play uh four places in the room right uh i'm poisoned so i'm gonna cleanse right because i had a poison thing spawn right under that person that's the rng so someone's going to spawn on these pads. There's four of them in the room. When that person spawns, you need to end them ASAP. Uh, so, you know, kind of be on the lookout for them. There's one right there. See, look. So when she's here, look what the room starts doing. It just starts exploding in poison everywhere. It's really dangerous. It's the most dangerous time in this room. And it will be the reason for most of your deaths in here. The trolls have a lot of health, you know, just kind of debuff them and parse on them. They'll transform. It's not a big deal. Um, you can preemptively, like if you get a lot in the middle, this is dangerous, right? So I'm going to just trigger that and get out. Now my middle area is a little bit clearer. Uh, if I know like, oh man, it's just a matter of time before I hit that one. <laughs> you can, you can trigger it ahead of time. Um... There's this lady. I got poisoned. Yeah. Now that pool's gone because I cleansed, right? It won't come back until the round's over. I still have this one if I get poisoned again. Right? So you get two chances at stepping into a poison. There we go. Here she comes again. We're going to kill her right away. And then this guy who's going to throw that rock. If that rock hits you, it'll knock you on your back and leave you pretty vulnerable. Try not to do that. Okay, you can kill him before he transforms also if you got the damage. Mm-hmm. All right, so. Kill these waves. Um, the archers that spawn in here can be kind of painful, like really painful. Uh, so what you could do is, again, when you're having a problem with a wave that has archers plinking away at you, you can use, uh, the shield sigil right here. See the shield sigil? So, like, if you're like, oh, man, the archer spawned and I just, I went down so fast. Use that shield sigil. It bounces their arrows back at them and you don't take damage. Totally worth it. This guy, you have to dodge his attack. He's dangerous, right? But they're always the priority. Those guys. Okay, dodge. Um, he's going to do another move. I'll let him do it. Where he slams the ground. Four circles are going to come out of him. When he does this, get away. So you can see where they are. Right? Those will kill you. Those little circles on the ground. So just back away when he lifts his legs up. See where the circles are. And then after you can tell where they are and avoid them, go back in. Okay. The Argonian. Uh, this, this, oh, this, if you let this go off, it can and will kill you, right? So you can bash him to stop him from shooting that arrow, or you can kill him. It's your call. This guy spawns, so as always, we're going to stop what we're doing and kill him, and we'll come back. Let's set this off, because I don't like where it's at. It is a very long wind up, as you can see. Like, he's like, I'm about to do this. Don't make me do it, right? 
Uh, so you got time to either kill him or interrupt him. He takes his, his time with it. If you've got an add-on called Codes Combat Alerts, it's, uh, I can't, I mean, you can't overstate how helpful it is in here. Oh, that's not good. We got poison. Oh my God, dude. Oh, I was going towards her. So there you go. There's the RNG in here. It can get you. It can get anyone. It just got me, right? When these guys spawn and you start getting random poison waves in the room, um, you know, they might spawn under you. They might not. It's kind of out of your control. So just make sure you kill them. Make sure you're paying attention to them when uh, they spawn, you know? Just make sure you pay attention to them. Yeah. We'll do a little better job of that moving forward. Kind of distracted while I'm explaining to you guys. But I'd be lying if I said that was the first time I died to that mechanic. It's okay if you die. It's not the end of the world. You just go back to the beginning of that round. Oh, there she is again. Kill the trolls. This is the round with two trolls, right? You might be tempted to use your ult here, but I wouldn't. Because the next round is the final boss. Uh, so if you're struggling with these trolls, I recommend pushing through it. Right? Push through it, because you're about to find the boss. Save your all for the boss if you can. Okay, the boss has very specific mechanics that you have to follow. One, these void collar, the venom collars are still going to spawn, right? But the boss is going to spawn two ads. You have to kill one and keep one oh. alive. You must, you must, you must keep one alive. You have to, okay? So kill this ad when it spawns, right? It's trying to ruin your day. You're just trying to have a good day, you know? Two ads are going to spawn. You got to kill one, right? Boom, the boss becomes enraged the second, the second you kill that ad. Whatever you do, don't kill this ad because this mechanic that's going off right now will kill you in a heartbeat if you're not standing in the shield. I mean, it's instant. You'll die, right? So you need this, but now you have to kill this ad because the ad becomes enraged. As soon as that mechanic's over. Where is it at? This is here. When the boss beats you and bites you, he puts a nasty bleed on you. Um, now's a good time to just parse him down. If you're still here, he's still here, right? It's just mechanic. It's just damage and mechanics now. Uh, rinse and repeat of what you've already done. Kill him. Easy. All right. And thank you so much for the prime not nauticals. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -uh. You like the music? Good. I'm glad. Good, good, good. Yeah, they don't always spawn when they're supposed to do that. Yeah, it's it's super random. Uh, I don't if there's like a, I'm sure there's some kind of condition. I don't know what it is. So you just keep your eyes on a swivel or head on a swivel. Hopefully not your eyes. Um, now we're going into the penultimate arena. This one's not bad in comparison. There's one thing in this arena that that will inevitably get you at some point, And that's the guys that hold their staff in the air and they start channeling fireballs at you. Those fireballs do ramping damage. So the first one will hurt a little. The second one will hurt a little more. The third and the fourth will probably kill you. It doesn't matter how hard you heal yourself uh, because the damage ramps. So when they spawn, you want to make sure you kill them. They always spawn like farthest. They'll, they'll be the guys spawning way in the distant corner uh, of the arena. You know, you see them coming in. You're like, oh, that's the one they wanted me to forget about. And you just go kill them. You can bash them to cancel that channel. Uh, and then kill them. Let's see here. Here's a guy with a flame staff. See the fire? There's the channel, right? And then bash. That is the channel that will kill you. It will be responsible for most of your deaths in here, I promise. Um, there's a mechanic in here with these. You'll notice three pillars around this room. Right now they're broken. If ever they come, they like form into a there like this. It just came solid now, right? It's not broken like the other two. You've got to kill it. And it's showing you how to fight the last boss. That makes this thing vulnerable. And now you can kill it, right? That's teaching you the mechanic in here, which is uh, when the pillars are up, you got to break them to make the thing vulnerable. 
And uh, we did that. So we're going to do that a couple more times for the other pillars. And then finally, the final boss will spawn. Here's a guy with a fire staff. You know what he's going to try to do, right? So you want to kill him. These guys got the little healing staff. So they'll heal each other and stuff. They're kind of annoying. You can bash them to um, interrupt their heal. It's a channeled heal. Here's another blue guy. That means we've got to kill this thing. Right? So he becomes one. It'll stun him. Briefly. And two, it'll make him vulnerable so we can hurt him. Now, oh, okay. Get my resources back with my consuming trap. Just throw that on those guys before they die. Easiest way to manage your resources in these kind of places is consuming trap. You see this person with a big sword. They can hurt. They're going to do a wind up that you should block. It'll stun them when you do. And, uh, you know, it'll hurt a lot if you don't. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I was going to say. It's about that time, isn't it? So we're getting... This is the first time it does... It tries to get you. You get the mechanic. Um, at the same time as a channeled person. Oh, I didn't get my consuming trap off. Okay. We're getting close to final boss now, I think. What round is this? Four or five? Four. Okay, so next round is the final boss. This one's got a... Um, at the end of it, we're going to get like a mini boss. Um, and the mini boss in here is going to... She's going to do a wombo combo on you. She's going to throw her ultimate down, and she's going to try to chain you into it. So as soon as you see her throw that ultimate down, doesn't matter where you are, you roll dodge. You get away from her as far as you can. Um, it's a trap. And her ult hurts 10 times more than any other standard in this game. So you don't want to be in it. Here it is. We're going to kill this. There's the chain she's going to do. All right. Let's see if we can get her to do her wombo on us, the one that will kill you. Kill the sand here. There it is. This right there. She's now going to try to chain me. Look. Boom. But I pulled her away from it. So when she chained me, I didn't land inside of it and hurt. Yeah. All right. Okay. Final boss. This is what I would do for the final boss if I was you. One. Kill these. Right. Grab this. There is a fire dude spawning somewhere. Where's he at? Oh, I didn't want this ult. I should have had it down already. Now, well, at least me blowing that rotation. You can see what happens. So she becomes invulnerable again. Just go kill him again. Right, no big deal. A fire, uh, a fire dude will spawn. But you kill her. Easy. Easy. Final arena. Now, if you made it this far, you're on the last boss. Well, the last arena, and then ultimately the last boss. Um, but that's all the mechanics for this one. It's really those fire guys who put the staff in the air. Uh, that'll get you... They're the thing that's waiting to spawn when you're not paying attention. They'll spawn during the final boss. They'll spawn all over the place. You know, just always have your head on a swivel. Know that they're coming. Go kill them and stun them. Um, okay, final arena. Uh, there's, there's, You're just going to get a lot of little waves here at the beginning. Little sets of three. I'll demonstrate here. They're not terribly difficult. The Daedra that spawns and does this fiery breath will be the one that you struggle with in here as a new player or even sometimes as a veteran because that dot hurts. 
So don't feel bad if that's you. These gold ghosts spawn, and every time you collect three, you can stun the entire room by using a synergy. Not one of the ones on the floor, but a synergy will pop up. Again, interrupt those guys. Um, so you get three, but if the enemy gets one of the gold ghosts, that enemy becomes quite a bit stronger. And, you know, here, this guy's healing, so we could have interrupted, but she stopped. Um, you, so you don't want to let them get the gold ghost. You'd much get it. Here's the Daedra, the crematorial guard, right? This dot, he breathes fire on you. You can't run from it. The dot will tick until you die. You have to fight him. So when he spawns, go kill him. Don't run from him. If you run, it's just an inevitable death waiting to happen. So go engage. Focus him down. Burn him as hard as you can. That's the common mistake is that you start kiting him. You start running, but that dot's burning you to death. And it's just a matter of time until you lose if you start doing that. So you can see the synergy on my screen right now. I have three of them. It says use spectral explosion, explosion, explosion. Uh, I'm not going to use it. I could. Mm, yeah, I could get it back. I mean, I could use it here. I'll show what it does. Let's use it. Boom. Everything in the room is stunned for quite a while too. Actually, the next wave will even spawn stun. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Wasn't that long, but that can happen. If you use it towards the end there. This guy, kill him or interrupt him when he starts beating his chest like that. Um, if you missed any part of this guide, don't worry. I'm posting this whole run on YouTube later on my highlights channel, exclamation point highlights, where I'm going to start posting this kind of stuff. Okay. I'm going to collect three gold ghosts, right? Because I want to have those three gold ghosts when the final boss spawns, right? That's when I want that stun, the room wide stun. I want to use that on the boss. He's going to be the hard part. So we're going to get that back now. And I probably won't use it again. There we go. We have it. And I'm just going to save it at this point. I don't really need it for the trash. There's this guy. The hardest part for me as a DPS main is not hitting the synergy button for the rest now. Uh, seeing that on the screen right there, it just triggers me, man, as a DBS. Like, I want to hit that so bad. You know, in the rest of the game, that's damage. That's resources. Right now, it's a trap. I'm trying to save it. Uh Oh. When we get to uh, a little bit later phase, there's going to be, like, zombie acolyte type people. They're going to spawn, like, here. It's always the farthest one. Oh, maybe it's starting now. Yeah. See this guy? He's just going to slowly start walking in. That's who you want to kill. The one that's not attacking you. He'll get to the middle. And he'll start summoning something. Let's see if I can let him do it. Oh, he died before he got there. My dot. Uh, I'll let this guy over there do it. See, you can always tell which one it is because it's the one that spawns furthest from the middle. If you're ever curious. Those who you want to focus. Because if you let him spawn the big bad thing that he's trying to spawn. Uh, it's going to be bad times for you. It's not fun to fight. And if you're new here, it'll probably just... Res that's probably just a wipe for you. It's very difficult to kill uh, for a new player. So uh, when they start trying to spawn, you know, make sure you kill those guys. They always spawn farthest from the middle. So you can choose to kill the Daedra first, if you have the damage, and then go kill him. Whatever you do, just don't let him kill. Uh, spawn the thing in the middle. Let it spawn for educational purposes? Okay. Sure. I'll do that. What's a way for Magsark to survive? Oh, uh, Mags. Oh! No, you took my... Oh, no, I have to... Okay, fine. So, he took my thing. There, here's the thing that he's spawning, right? And uh, I'm going to do my best not to die to this. He's going to spawn this fire rain. If this rain hits you, it hurts so bad, right? I I, I kind of made him look a little easier to kill than he is, I promise. Uh, it's trouble. You can see things are kind of a mess now. I had to get the blue one to get that gold one. Uh, we're catching back up.
there. Good. We've got our synergy again, which is good because we're getting close to the uh, to the final boss. Here we go. Round five. Which means that we're close to that final boss. Grab this again. This guy. This is just a parse, man. Uh, you want to try to kill him as fast as you can. Block this. He's always going to do the same rotation. So he does that big heavy at the beginning. And then I'm going to let him boot me away to show you what that is. It's very dangerous. Okay, I'm going to stop doing damage. He boops you away. Then he does a big AoE, room-wide AoE. That hurts, okay? Oh, he died before he could do it. My dot killed him. Never mind. Uh, and that room, you want... Just be, just know, after he boops you back, you want to block and heal and shield. Uh, anything you can to stay alive when he does the room-wide fire ability right after he boops you back from him. Because he's always going to do it, and it's always going to hurt a lot. And uh, this is just how good this 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 build of the uh, <laughs> of the Stam DK is. Like I'm having a hard time letting things stay alive right now. You know what I mean? Like the Stam DK is just in such a good spot, uh, and uh, and the build that we're rocking right now, especially. All right. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Yeah, we're about to fight the final boss. That was not the final boss. So this is the final boss. When the boss gets to 75%, he's going to teleport upstairs. And we're going to go follow him, and I'll show you how. So we want to get him to 75%, right? I'm going to let him teleport once. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, good. He did it. He did it. Oh, and when he teleports, he's going to spawn a Daedra, the one that breathes fire. This guy right here, right? You want uh, to kill that Daedra, right? Uh, okay, so for this part, there's a... Oh, here, I'll kill this guy. Speaking of, on this part, one of these pads is going to light up. Don't stand in those things blowing up constantly. One of these pads is going to light up. And then when you kill the little electric dinosaur that I killed over top of this pad, um, up here, there's a persistent dot hitting you that gets stronger the longer you're up here. So, uh, what you want to do is uh, stand behind this pad. So, beat on that first one. Right, stand by this pad. He's gonna explode. Boom! That pad that was rotating around the room, it prevented him from knocking me off. Dodge roll that, or block cast it, whatever you're into. And dodge this. Oops. Or not. And you just need to kill all three crystals. I'm gonna do it before he does another boot. I'm gonna roll in the middle so he doesn't throw me in the lava. Uh, cause he will try to boop you out into the lava. He's going to come down, bash him, right? And this is where you can actually, instead of bashing him, if you want, you can go like this. You can grab the shield. You can grab this, uh, right there, the weapon one. And then you can come over here if it's your first time, right? Throw down your ults and give him everything you've got. You've got that shield buff. You've got, um, and you've got, uh, the defense buff. I mean, the offense buff. And boom, there's the final boss. There's all the mechanics. And that's all there is to it. So, after you go up and kill the three gems, come down, grab the shield first, because the boss is going to start doing a channeling mechanic. If you don't interrupt the channeling mechanic, your shield will bounce that damage back at the boss. So, it'll basically help you kill it. Uh, while it's bouncing its damage back at itself, run to the next thing, right? And, uh... Grab the weapon sigil. And then after you have the weapon and the shield, go ham on that boss, man. Go ham. Yeah. All right. And that is the veteran, uh, veteran Melchior Marina. You know, we, I, we walked through it. We took it nice and slow and, uh, showed you all the mechanics and how to approach each and every boss. And, uh, yeah, that's it, man. Made it look so easy. It will be easy for you. It will be. You know, this is this arena is a lot of mechanics. And as soon as you understand the mechanics, and as soon as you don't forget about the mechanics, uh, it gets a lot easier. That takes a couple runs. You know, it's one thing to, to see it, and then it's another to do it. Uh, it's not uncommon for your second run to be half as long as your first. Almost everybody, they do their first run. It takes three hours, six hours, two days, right? And um, then their second run, they do it in 
half that time and the next one after that half again and it it uh it gets it gets exponentially easier each time you do it because there's so much about it that's just mechanics just knowing oh man that guy's gonna spawn that i always die to or, you know or i need to block this attack you know and once it's in your muscle memory it becomes really easy and uh you know getting a good build and some some champion points always helps there's some solo builds every one of those solo builds uh can absolutely destroy any of these solo arenas uh, if you're looking for something like that all right all right guys there you go you died 45 times on your first run i don't know how many times i died on my first run but it took a long time yeah, it took a long time. The Griffin boss in Somerset? Yeah. Probably. That's going to take a while. A lot of dodge rolling. Heavy attacking. But it's it's not too bad to solo. We got a couple items added to our collection. It's nice. Staff of Glory. When you bash an enemy, you gain glorious defense for 10 seconds, allowing you to dodge the next attack made against you. <laughs> Once every 13 seconds, you can dodge one attack. Woo. It's nice. I will use that set exactly never. And, oh yeah, don't forget, once you're done, turn in your quests. Um, oh, another thing to know about this is if you come through here and you go all the way through it without leaving... You don't log out. You don't leave. You go all the way through. You will end up on, I guarantee it, you will end up on the leaderboard, right? Because the leaderboard holds like 100 people and there's never 100 people that run it on your class in a week. Um, so, you'll end up on the leaderboard, which means if, uh, if this is the weekly, you'll get a gold weapon mailed to you and it could be the one you need in gold. The Maelstrom Bow, Maelstrom Staff, Maelstrom Two-Hander. Uh, it could be any one of those. And it comes in gold in the mail. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, if you do come in, try not to leave. Try to do it in one run, especially if it's the weekly, because you get two chances at the weapon you're looking for instead of one. That only works on Veteran, by the way. You got to do it on Veteran to get the uh, gold item mailed to you. And that works for both arenas, this and Bodishon Halls. Don't tell him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you also get this um, polymorph for beating this on veteran. It's it's really gross. It's ugly. I don't think I've ever seen anybody use it. But you could look like this. So, you know, there's that. It's something. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. 